Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is Faraz Rabani, um, Executive Director and Senior Instructor at Seekers Guidance and a friend of the MCC community. Um, there's many of you that I've known for many years and love dearly. Ramadan Mubarak to one and all. Over the next four weeks, we'll be looking at some of the surahs that we recite commonly and we'll touch upon some of their meanings and significance ta'ala. And I wanted to begin today by looking at Surah Al-Fatiha. And everyone can, would maybe feel that, well, I know Surah Al-Fatiha, but let's look at some points that the scholars mention regarding this noble surah. So let's begin. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد المبعوث بالقرآن نورا مبينا وعلى آله وصحبه الذين نشروا الدين على صراط المستقيم الحمد لله Before we begin recitation of the Quran we recite the تعوذ the seeking of refuge and this seeking of refuge is tremendously significant, right? We say, "A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim And "A'udhu billah," I seek refuge in Allah, right? Literally, I am a refugee who has fled from harm and sought ref refuge, shelter with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? The refugee leaves a place of harm and finds refuge, protection, care, shelter in a place of peace and serenity and goodness. So, a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim When we recite this, when we open the recitation, this is very significant, right? And one of the things that I have found most beneficial in my personal devotion, in my prayer, in rec reciting Qur'an, in dhikr, in dua, is a very simple concept, but it is profound, which is that meanings come before words. So you should mean what you say, then say it. Mean what you say, then say it. So sometimes we think about reflecting on the Qur'an, that I say something, then I engage in an analysis after it. So I say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ So I say the Arabic, then if I'm feeling up to it, I'll sort of mentally translate it, I might think a little about it, but then I feel insecure that I'm paused for so long. No. Whether it's Qur'an or Dhikr, when we say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem, before we start recitation, pause for a moment. Right? Mean it, then say it. Yeah, that's the most important of lessons. Mean it, then say it. And just consider love, right? If you have an old friend named Ahsan, you say, Ahsan, I love you, brother. Then I think about it. So you know what? I meant that. <laughs> it would be very strange because you should mean it first, then say it. So that's, so a'udhu billahi min shaitan. I seek refuge in Allah. Right? And Allah has, tells us, call upon me, I will answer you. And this has a lesson in life. That the shaitan is one of our enemies in life. What is the way to deal with one's enemies in life, harm in life, one's fears in life? It is by finding refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's the first lesson. Then we say Bismillahir Rahman ar Rahim. Bismillahir Rahman ar Rahim is 
an amazing gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim when we say, by the name of Allah, merciful and compassionate. Entire treatises have been written on this, and I have ones floating around somewhere. This is not actually my this is my basement. Um, my library sort of dispersed all over, but I have no less than a dozen full-length treatises on the meanings of the Basmala, right? This is just one of them in uh, 460 pages. There's five different commentaries on the meanings of Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. That's just five of over a dozen treatises that I have. I have not tried to gather them. When we say Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, by the name of Allah, merciful and compassionate. One thing is that that's not a full statement. The full statement is something implicit, right? Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. I begin. I recite, I eat, I drink, you know, whatever you're doing, that is the key to Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. So one of the, the, the adab of, the, of this, when you say Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, you have in mind what you're about to do in the context of Quran. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, by the name of Allah, merciful, compassionate, I recite. I am reciting the, the Quran. So keep that in mind. Then, by the name of Allah, this ba, by the name, meaning relying upon Allah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seeking Allah. So the, the ba here, much has been said about it, but practically there are three meanings of the ba, right? By, by the name of Allah, meaning billahi. Ma'allahi lillahi. By Allah, with Allah, for Allah. By Allah, with Allah, and for Allah. By Allah, meaning relying upon Allah. Do I begin this action? With Allah, meaning in consciousness of Allah, seeking consciousness of Allah. And for Allah, lillah, for the sake of Allah. And we should be people of meaning. So anytime you say Bismillah or Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, you we intend. I'm doing this by Allah, with Allah, for Allah. By Allah, reliant upon Him, with Allah, seeking to be conscious of Him, for Allah. Right? And then, so that's how we. Open the Fatiha. Then we say, so Bismillah, by the name of Allah. Right? And we say Allah, right? Who is Allah? Right? The one alone, free of need of any other, whom all are in absolute need of. The encompassingly merciful, Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman is the encompassingly merciful. Right? One of the Habib Hassan al-Bahr al-Jifri said, he is the encompassingly merciful in his originating all things. Il Ijad, the particularly merciful in his sustaining all things. Al Rahman al Rahim. Then you say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbi, and all praise is Allah's, the Lord of the worlds. All praise is Allah's, the Lord of the worlds. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise, right? And the all, it's either praise itself belongs to Allah, it's categorical or it's encompassing. Every praise is Allah's, or Allah's praise for Himself. Right? All praise or praise itself is deserved by Allah and belongs to Allah. He is Lord of the worlds. Now, Rabb is not just Lord, right? Rabb has at least half a dozen main meanings. When we say Rabb, right? Rabb is from the expressions of mercy. It means the carer, 
the cherisher, the loving, the merciful, the nourisher. Right? Because Rabb is from Tadbiya, is the one who takes care of something that is theirs from its beginning to its end, taking it towards its good. And we would do well to translate it as the caring Lord, right? Or something like that. Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of all worlds. Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, the encompassingly merciful, the particularly merciful. And this is repeated for emphasis because we don't sufficiently realize the mercy of Allah, right? And as we recite the Fatiha, Sayyidah Aisha was asked, how was the recitation of the Prophet ﷺ? She said, she didn't recite like you, you people do. His recitation was steady. He would make each word clear and distinct and unrushed. He would pause at the end of each verse. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawmiddin, the, the master of the day of reckoning. Right? He is the most merciful, but we are accountable. Right? We are accountable. We think of the greatness of that day and how we'll attain his mercy on that day. Malik Yawmiddin. Iyaka na'bud, it is you alone we are devoted to. It is, and ibadah is recognition, submission, worship, devotion, seeking. It is you alone that we rely upon. And this is the statement of complete commitment, but complete freedom. That it is you alone that is our our ultimate objective. We have no other ultimate. And if that ultimate objective is in place, then what is the problem? And it is you alone we rely upon. Right? Who's on your side? The Lord of the world. <laughs> it's what is there to stress about. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka Na'bud. It is you alone we are devoted to. It is you alone that we rely upon. So that is the opening of the, the first half of the Fatiha, which is directed towards Allah. Guide us to the path that is straight. And this guide us, right? Even the, the ha comes from deep within. Guide us. And what is guidance? Sheikh al-Islam, Kamal, uh, Ibn Kamal Basha, one of the greatest of the Ottoman scholars, said, Hidayah is to show another the way gently and with care. Ihdina, guide us. Gently and with care to the path that is straight. Why does a believer ask to be guided to the path that is straight? Because we're needy. We want to draw closer to Allah. This expresses the yearning of the soul for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ihdina sirat al mustaqim The path that is straight, that is upright, that is the path of the Prophet Sirat al ladina an'amta alayhim. The path of those you have blessed before us. That requires seeking knowledge. That requires having exemplars both exemplars from the past, that we look to the example of the Prophet ﷺ and the past Prophets before him as we go through the Qur'an, for example, but also to connect with those who connected with the way of the Prophet ﷺ, of the companions and the prophetic household and the righteous, to connect ourselves and our families to those past examples, but also to connect 
to the living examples of the exemplars and good company. The path of those you have blessed. Because we, we are not alone in our journey to Allah. There are people ahead of us on that journey that have traversed before. And we are a faith community. We have exemplars and we have good company. Not the path of those that are under your wrath, nor those who are astray. And when we make recite the Fatiha and we feel need or we feel gratitude, okay? because this is an encompassing dua. It's an encompassing dua. And our Lord, who tells us He is Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, has t- tells us in the Quran, "Udruni astajib lakum, call upon me, I will answer you." And our beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us, "Udrullah wa antum muqimun bil ijaba." Call upon Allah with complete certitude in His answer. So the Fatiha is not to be rushed. It's not to be rushed. Live its meanings. Right? Life, to be spiritually alive is to bring to life the meanings of the, the Qur'an. We touched upon when we say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Right? That I am a refugee to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The Bismillah with these three meanings in it. By Allah, with Allah, for Allah. And you have those when you recite the Fatiha, but that is a key to goodness in life. And then the meanings of the Fatiha, recited unrushed. Mean what you recite, then say it. May our recitation of the Quran be a declaration of love, because Allah's Messenger tells us that Allah has. Chosen servants amongst his creation. And the people of Quran are the people of Allah and his most chosen. May Allah make us and you, our families and your families, our communities and your communities of the people of Quran. And may Allah manifest for us relief through our return to him, but by his mercy and generosity. May you have a blessed month of Ramadan and may we be united with our communities in the best of ways. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi.